Okay, I'm getting ready to do the first cut on the Joan Myers Chrysocolla. The piece is porous, and so we're going to start on a saw that's way too small for it. But the purpose of doing that is to see if we can get it to hold on a really fine, really thin saw blade. If we can at least get the cut started here, then we'll move back to the saw room, back to the rock room, and we'll finish the cut on a larger piece. But this beginning is going to tell the tale. So at any rate, I'm going to hand hold this, and I'm going to cut so that you can see the cut face already, and you'll be able to see probably even before I do, because of the position of the camera, uh, whether or not we're getting any crumbling. So let me get this lined up and started properly. Hand cuts are always a hair trigger. They can go off at any second. Okay, here we go. It's a little like lining up a golf shot. If you'll notice on the plate, the surface of the stone is beginning to break off. That can happen on any rock, so, so far, we're still going to continue. When I release the pressure on the stone, you immediately hear that the saw blade is spinning freely inside the cut channel. That tells me that I'm not torquing or, or twisting the blade or the stone, but that in fact I'm holding it perfectly. I check that often because I'm doing this freehand, which means that I could torque it. You'll hear how we're cutting now. And now I've released it, and you hear hardly any noise at all. Okay, here we go again. Cut. of my cutting ability. I'm nearly through, so I'm going to back it out very slowly. So far we're holding together. You can see my cut line is pretty darn good for a free cut. Not bad for an old lady. Okay. I'm going to set this down in channel.
Double cutting is always a trick, and you can see how on this ridge right here, I was just a hair off on my angle as I came in to meet this second cut. Uh, we've got calcite in here, which is really, really soft. It's pretty, but the, the thing I was hoping for was quartz, and that would have given us a much stronger, but here's the exciting thing. I was going to say it didn't break apart. Apparently, I'm speaking too quickly. Um, if we can get these pieces to hold together, I think we've got a couple of cabochons here. These will not be able to be prong set. They will only be able to be bezel set, and that's because this material is so impossibly soft. So that's the story, Morning Glory. And I'm going to call you, Joan, once Kenny puts this up online so that you can go and take a look at this cut for yourself. So, and you'll see again how rapidly this is drying out as it just literally wicks or sucks up the moisture. A very bad sign. So I'm going to shut this down and we'll see what we've got.